Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which populates in order successor for all nodes. First, let us understand what exactly it means. We have to make the next pointer for every node point to in order successor. Now, let us have a look at the algorithm which will assist us in this. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 10 to function populate next. Hence, p will point to 10. We have a node next which will point to null. Since p is not null, we set the next pointer in write subtree. So, we pass 10's right which is 12 recursively using a call stack. Hence, p will point to 12. Since p is not null, we pass the right child of 12 which is null. So, p will point to null. As p is pointing to null, the if condition doesn't get satisfied and we return to the call stack. Now we set p's next point to next which is null. Then we change the next to p. So 12's next will point to null and next will point to 12. Finally we pass the left child of 12 which is null to function populate next. So p will point to null. As p is pointing to null, the if condition does not get satisfied and we finish execution for node 12. Execution for node 10 is resumed. We make p's next point to next and make next equal to p. So next will be equal to 10. We call for the left child of 10 now. So p will point to 8. As p is not null, we call the right child of 8 which is null. So p will point to null. As p is null, we return to the call stack. Now 8's next will point to 10 and we make next equal to 8. Next we call the left child of 8 which is 3. So p points to 3. As p is not null, we call the right child of 3 which is null. So now p points to null. As p is pointing to null, we return to the call stack. Now we make p's next point to next and make next equal to p. So 3's next will point to 8 and next will point to 3. We now call for the left child of 3 which is null. So p will point to null. As p is pointing to null, we return to the call stack and finish execution for node 3. Also execution for node 8 is over. We have populated in order successor for all nodes and finish execution for this program. Now let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here n are the number of nodes in the binary tree. With this we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.